This best ball draft 1.0 edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Arizona, Colorado, Indiana, Louisiana, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, Tennessee, and Virginia. From boosted same game parlays to live in game odds, WinBet has what you need to win. Sign up today, bet 100, get 100 at sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WinBet. That's sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash WYNNBET. State restrictions apply. We're also brought to you by the NASCAR Gambling Podcast. Start your engines with Rod and Cody. And get ready to gamble on the Daytona 500 this Sunday. Hey, this is Pac Man Jones. You're listening to SGPN. Let it ride. Everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks. Ryan, real money. Kramer, what's happening? Kramer, dog. Oh, they if they try to say we're not endurance athletes. <laughs> what well, I mean, it's what what's the date, Sean? Re, like show a newspaper so that they can they understand. Well, Ryan, this is happy real. Valentine's Day. It oh. is. <laughs> <laughs> it is February fourteenth. Hopefully, you realize it's Valentine's I, Day. I didn't I for didn't. your uh, for your. I told sake. you I'm, I have a date tomorrow night in <laughs> Vegas. And when you have kids, it's different. You get to you chuck the day. She she doesn't really care about it either. Part of the appeal of the wife was not giving a fuck about Valentine's Day. There you go. Um, I'm assuming our audience doesn't really care either. We're here to talk. <laughs> NFL fantasy football. We just taped um, uh, the uh, Daytona 500 preview oh, yeah. with the uh, NASCAR gambling podcast boys. Rum rum. <laughs> Great engine uh, effect there. Man. All right, now please someone clip that, send that over because that's making the soundboard. <laughs> and yeah, we're already talking NFL. It just the season ended on Sunday. We're talking about it on Tuesday. Hashtag no. Days off, and there's no days off when it comes to win bets. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Bet big, win bigger over at win bet. I mean, you got it all over at WYNN BET Sportsgamblingpodcast.com, of course. Uh, make sure you use that link so they know we sent you. Bet 100, get 100. Of course, um, what else do they got? Bet three, same game parlays, get a $10 free bet on Sundays. They also got reduced juice. A thousand dollar free bet when you hit the biggest long shot parlay of the week. You can also tie your win uh, rewards card to your win bet account. I would highly recommend that. Fast payouts. I uh, did hit a couple winners in Arizona. Easily got my money. Fast, easy, secure. Dropped it off in PayPal already in my bank. Thank you, win bet. That was easy. Sportsgamblingpodcast.com slash win bet. Offered subjects to change. Terms and conditions at winbet.com. Must be 21 or older and present in the state. We're playing through and is available. If you're someone you know has a gambling problem, call 1 800 522 4700. Joining us on the line, fellow fantasy football endurance athlete. You know him from the fantasy football podcast, Mr. Andrew Rob. What's happening, Andrew? What's going on, fellas? Uh, we may not be talking about NASCAR, but my motor has been running Ooh. for these best <laughs> yes. ball drafts, man. I am ready. Um, yes, I'm ready to dive in and talk about how weird these ADPs are. We didn't Ooh. even ask him to have a, a transit, a NASCAR transition prepared. Very mm. professional here on the fly. Very sitting very... in the green room, just not, not endure, not enjoying uh, uh, alcohol spirits uh, and maybe some, some, uh, some herbal medication. But in fact, Writing sweet bangers dialed in about the NASCAR. <laughs> and uh, speaking of fantasy football, we um, we will be sponsoring the Friday night party uh -huh. at the fantasy football expo in August. Uh, more details to come, but if you're going to the fantasy football expo, uh, going to be an <laughs> oh, awesome yeah. time. Meet up in person, have some cocktails. Sean with unlimited access to the mic. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess oh, if we're sponsoring, out. if we're sponsoring the uh, <laughs> the show, I'm definitely going to get on the mic. <laughs> and uh, it's it, the fantasy football expo is a ton of fun. It's out in Canton, Ohio. Oh yeah. If you've never been to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, it's a great. 
um, reason to go out there, check out the, the, the hall of fame is really cool. I know last year they did some events actually on the field like oh. flag football. So I'm Which, sure we'll, we'll get Bob on the guy who does the, um, the fantasy football expo, have him on hype it up. Uh, but highly recommend the party. And now uh, sports gambling is legalized in Ohio. So it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be a party. Can, can we, can we give Andrew an assignment right now? Sure. What's that? All right, you got to get with Jake. We get, we did. We got to figure out, we got to have some sick ass football jerseys for our flag football. Yes. Team. Yeah, I know and, Brody and, was already talking about it. And the reason that we we're we're into this is because they're also going to be made available in the merch store. So that's a mm. requirement. Oh, they, nice. They have to be made available in the merch store. But can people we can't, get he people, hate me on the back of our jerseys. We can get whatever you want, and that's the catch. <laughs> people can't customize it. They can only buy jerseys from the team. So it's going to be <laughs> so oh, go, that I'll, that's uh, th it's right up your alley. I know it is. So let, yeah. let's get that done. All right. Enough of uh, enough fan. Uh, although I will say, fantasy expo, it is it's go it's turning into low key like a senior bowl in Mobile. <laughs> it, it's it's a spot. It's in Canton, so it's all the it's really hard to get to. So the people that are there really want to be there, and uh, you know, generally a good time. Uh, funny always to see the reaction to our Zeke takes as if we're not taking fantasy football seriously. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, good time. Get good, good to hang with the youth of America and fantasy football. Let's go. All right, all right, Ryan. Let me know when, when are we hopping right. in this draft. Are we all prepared? Let me bring it up. Hold on. Let me see if this works. Get everyone on the skull. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, is everyone ready to jump in? We're doing the ten dollar, the big board. We have rookies. Yep. This is exciting. I've heard the ADP is absolutely out of control. I'm poking my head in. All right, there are four spots left. You guys want to hop in? Three, two, one. Yep. Sean, I'm in. Andrew, you I'm in? in? All right. Yeah, so I'm I'm excited. I I would say I I was telling you guys before the show I've done one and a half drafts, or so one that I was conscious the entire time, <laughs> one that I may have fallen asleep on the couch. No, I, absolutely not, Sean. I was just <laughs> tired from a long day of practice. Sleepy, sleepy Ryan. <laughs> Oh, Look, I have the, I have the number one pick overall. I don't know if I like that. No, 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 no. We don't have it. It hasn't shared that. Oh, right. okay. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> not now. We're good. <laughs> Sean's in preseason form. No, Kramer has has one one. What do you do at the number one spot, Ryan? Uh, whatever the fuck I want. All right, let's see. Let me get this draft board on. So the it looks like uh, we got Kramer in the one. I'm in the four. Sean, you're in the five. We got a friend of the podcast, uh, Team Ramrod. Oh Andy, yeah. Uh, is in the nine, and then we got uh, my fellow co-host Bruni in the twelve spot. Bruni. Bruni's gonna be working on getting our ragtag uh, bunch of uh, yeah, fantasy is, guys. Is Bruni the uh, the GM? <laughs> Yeah, he already sent he out a me. list of us to, uh, to to start our routine. He he uh, is telling us what what we need to eat, when we need to exercise, how much sleep to get. I I got a kick out of it. He literally he dropped in Slack, dead serious. Like you guys need to start fucking jogging every day. We're not. And by the way, I I don't. We're not going to announce anything now. But we we do. We may have a little bit of assistance at quarterback. We'll see. It it depends. We can get uh, Joe Theismann a first class ticket to Canton. <laughs> Joe Theismann as our ringer, that would be awesome. How great would that be? You just, uh, I mean, all right. So I don't understand why Christian McCaffrey isn't the one dot one at this point. I'm not I, ready to release my Christian McCaffrey injury or not take, well, but stay tuned. But right? but on the Niners, it's like you you saw what this could look like. And so I, I, I like a number of the receivers. I don't know if I have a strong take of, of one versus the other when it comes to Jefferson and chase, but yeah, I, I, I feel like you have to take McCaffrey first at this point. So he goes, then Justin Jefferson, Jamar chase, uh, Andrew Robb takes Cooper cup. I'm on the clock here, which I'm by the way, can I, well, well, after you pick, I'd like to hear Andrew's take on the top of the board as well. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go Travis Kelsey. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we every year it's the same conversation. I'm like, I don't know. Should we? Should we? Is Travis Kelsey going to be old this year? Well, no, also, he's the fucking alpha on this team. Yeah, and I, and especially with no Tyreek Hill. I mean, we I saw it. it. It doesn't seem like there's going to be any slowing down with Travis Kelsey and that offense. Uh, Austin Eckler goes. Tyreek Hill goes. 
I guess I guess you have to be somewhat concerned about Tyree Kill and the quarterback situation in Miami. I mean, I made the mistake of taking the duck sound no. effect off, but you off the soundboard. It You're, can't get worse. No, I guess that's Sean, true. It cannot get worse. And Tyree Kill showed that it doesn't matter who his quarterback is. The system plus Tyree Kill is just gonna create a ton of uh, now what about production. what about Devonte Adams? What do you think about Devonte Adams in Vegas? No Derek Carr, no idea who's going to be playing quarterback for them. It doesn't matter to me. I I like I like him. Bijan Robinson goes in the eighth no. spot. All right, let's pause real quick, Andrew. What like what what's your take on this Bijan Robinson situation? It's crazy, right? Yeah, I mean he's getting comps to uh, to Saquon Barkley. So if that's the case, I mean round ones you know, not a bad spot for him. I just don't like drafting him here right now because you don't know situation. You don't know scheme. You don't, you essentially only know what he's done in college. And I just feel like it's a little rich for round one, but again, I've done a bunch of drafts and I've seen him fall to two, one once everything else has been inside the top 12. And I, I just can't get behind it right now. In my head, I'm thinking of a couple of years back when it was like, Oh, Javante Williams in the sixth or seventh round. That's a fun pick. And it's like, th this is first round. Yeah. I, yeah, I think you're crazy. To this think is a beautiful. Rookie you know what's happening right here? Dynasty people are are are, are <laughs> on the they're loose. In, they're penetrating. <laughs> they're dipping the toe in the small <laughs> stakes best ball tournaments, and they're like, "Ooh, rookie first round." So Devonte Adams, then Stephon Diggs. I mean, you were telling me you wouldn't rather have these guys. <laughs> no, AJ just... Brown, Patrick Mahomes, well, Saquon Barkley. And that's the other thing: quarterbacks are going exceptionally high. We're seeing three quarterbacks generally gone before the end of the second round. And I don't know if this is just like people freaking out or if this is going to be a trend that changes in fantasy a little bit, where we just see quarterbacks moving up the board. I don't know, Andrew, what's your take? You think that you think this is a, a sign of the future and we're just seeing a time where people are going to value these dual threat quarterbacks a shitload. And they're going to drive themselves all the way up the board. I mean, I personally, I think taking Mahomes first when hurts, and Allen and some of these other guys are out there is a little crazy, but j just the idea of taking them here in the first, second round seems insane to me. Yeah. I mean, I, I tend to, to agree as well. Um, I, I think people are seeing that, you know, this year was kind of a, of an, an anomaly due to the fact of Mahomes and Hertz and Allen were like amongst the top of winning um, you know, teams for, for fantasy this year. So again, you know, we don't normally get that. And I think people are reading that now and, and realizing that the quarterbacks are very valuable, but you can still, you know, the difference between quarterback one and quarterback 12 on average is not super, you know, uh, different as far as points per game and stuff like that. So I still think it's okay to, to wait on quarterback, but I mean, if you really want one, you're going to have to take one of the three in, in the first two rounds. And, and I don't really see that changing too much throughout the rest of the off season. Um, again, it's just, you know, we had such a high scoring quarterback room, uh, you know, this year that it's just, it's just, is what it is, but so, yeah, yeah. And I, I don't understand taking Mahomes that uh, high. Yeah. I mean, it, he doesn't have the rushing upside that hurts does, or even Josh Allen. So catching people up in the draft, CD lamb hurts does go Garrett Wilson, Amon Ra, Josh Allen, Jalen Waddle. I took Jalen Waddle. Uh, nice job, Sean. Derek Henry, Devonta Smith, Kramer. You you're now coming up. You have uh, back to back picks. What are you looking to do here? I mean, I think it's typically I would say, well, I, I think I'm going to like the builds where you're getting uh, some stud receivers out of these first three picks. But oh boy, we we might be sitting in one of those Pete Carroll situations where I was looking at Kenneth Walker there. He certainly would be fun. I'll take my alpha receiver with T Higgins. You know, I'm a T Higgins guy. I, I see nothing wrong with his, that value. Right, I don't think this changes much between now and the start of next year. Uh, that being said, I think some of these. Uh, I mean, this is this is the same classic situation. Uh, we now have Nick Chubb with less ball to share, and are we, like we're really talking about Nick Chubb in the third round and a half point PPR fantasy format. I'll be the boomer here. I'll have two running backs <laughs> and a wide receiver, but I think the prod. I think the quarterback. Juice and Bijan Robinson and just you know uh, the obvious need to have a lot of receivers in there is pushing pushing uh, running backs down the board. Now Brees uh, Brees Hall just got drafted. To me, that is crazy high. I get how good he looked, but no, that's dude. a serious injury. Yeah, you got. Uh, to me, it's fun. Like he comes after Nick Chubb, Josh Jacobs, 
Uh, even even uh, I, I might even throw Ramondre Stevenson, Travis Etienne. I I think th- some of these injuries are are legit problems. Don't be afraid to be a boomer as well, Sean. Uh, well, I am. I'm taking uh, oh, whoa. Justin whoa. Fields. I mean, he had 1,100 yards rushing, a ton of touchdowns. He he was setting- in the third round. Sean takes a quarterback. I mean, this this year is going to be lit. This best ball season is going to be wild. I'm going to have so many shitty quarterbacks because I'm just going to wait. I'm only going to wait early in the in this best ball season. Oh, I got Justin Fields now. I can just, I can just punt. Um, Andrew, I assume you've tested out different theories. How, have the teams that where you wait on quarterback, do they turn out nicely? Uh, so I mean, as far as the positional, you know, the, the running backs and wide receivers on those teams, I do have two of those where I waited real late. Uh, the running back and wide receiver on that team are just absolutely fantastic. I mean, the mm-hmm. the depth is awesome, but then you end up with some sort of combination of any of the rookies. Uh, you know, Aaron Rodgers. I mean, you, it's it's really tough out there. I mean, Derek Carr. Th- there's guys out there that could be good this year, but it it doesn't look good. So you really have to hope that those running backs and wide receivers on those teams carry you, and you just get some lucky weeks out of those quarterbacks. See, my my theory is I I saw some of the teams that I advanced, and they had crap. Like they had like those three crap quarterbacks with stacks. They all had they they were all stacks. Yes. So that was the the key. But it would—they were all crap stacks and quarterbacks that were very, very, very uh, low value guys. And especially the drafts early in the process, the couple that I got through, uh, they were—they were like you got like ever uh, people were. La- Sean was laughing at me when as I was drafting uh, Jared Goff. Remember how hard you laughed at me for drafting Jared Goff and Tua? Yep. That that team did pretty well. All right. You win the million? No, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. But I mean. I, <laughs> See that that just feels like it's, you're just being mean. Did, 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 oh, you're salty trying, Valentine's you're trying Day? to be mean to me. Uh, Chris Olave, <laughs> Travis Etienne, Lamar Jackson goes. Uh, Josh Jacobs, uh, Mark Andrews, DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel, TJ Hawkinson feels a little high for Hawkinson, but Bruni's on him. Uh, and paired up with Debo Samuel, DeAndre Hopkins goes. Calvin Ridley. Gut reaction. Hashtag Dejans only. Uh, Alave feels like a like I, I feel like Alave is going to move up in ADP. Well, especially if they do something at quarterback, I, I think he would yeah. skyrocket. Like he be, I, doesn't he feel like when I'm drafting in the in the FFPC certainly in the fall, he feels like a second round receiver. That's all I had to say about that. There you go. Um, Kramer, you, you are you actually already hit on it here too. Uh, you know, people need to remember that stacking is is everything in best ball. You know, if you're going to make it through to the end, you want to have stacks. Uh, you know, now how much you want to stack with your quarterback is really up to you. But I mean, I at least like taking two to three guys to stack with my quarterback if possible. Uh, you know, but but people really just need to know that you know that's super valuable in best ball is to make sure that you stack with your quarterbacks. And I and I actually I think something I took away is I want to stack more running backs with quarterbacks. I didn't do that enough. All right, <clears throat> have to have to get in the zone. Sean is on the clock. It's about to be a bunch of our uh, our, our cluster of picks is about to happen. Mm. A lot of interesting kind of two way opinion receivers staring us in the face here. I, I did actually I do have some custom rankings already, so I'm I'm certainly not looking at the same thing as you, Sean. Christian Watson. Okay. Who's the quarterback going to be? Uh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I, I think he's just, he's super explosive and he's um, he was a fun rookie that can really make a jump year two. Uh, before that we had uh, Joe Mixon, Ajay Harris, Tony Pollard, Amari Cooper. I took Christian Watson. He just seems like a classic second year guy. That'll make a huge leap. Oh, and uh, Andrew, you want to talk through your pick? Just took Mike yeah. Williams, old reliable. I like that. Yeah, I I don't love Mike Williams because again, like this man catches the ball and doesn't know how to land on his feet, which is a problem. But if they are going to sh- allow Keenan Allen to leave this team, he becomes facto number one in this, you know, in this high powered offense. Uh, so I mean that, that that was truly. I just think he's going a little too late for what could potentially rise his stock if Keenan Allen does leave. Godwin off the board. Uh, where does he end up? Is he on the Bucks or not on the Bucks? It's a good question. And if he's on the Bucks, do you like him? Considering God knows what they're going to do at quarterback. I mean, are so, you are you excited about Chris Godwin in the fourth round if they're trying to have Kyle Trask? Probably not. Mm, 
<laughs> no. Probably not. I think that's a no. I I heard that sound by uh, Andrew. <laughs> or and would you take Godwin this far ahead of uh, Mike Evans? I don't know if I'd do that. Kramer, you just took uh, George Kittle. What what do you got there? What do you mean? What do I got there? Well, you're you're high on George Kittle. Yeah, it's more of a we're we're starting to build up a stack. Uh, with our guy Christian McCaffrey, I think I'll be able to get the quarterback later if I want him. And he's uh, what quarterback? Well, we're we're gonna we're we're gonna see about Trey Lance. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just wanted to grab that offense. I think you can stack this team without the quarterback. Honestly. DeAndre Swift still hasn't been drafted. Now I also took. DJ Moore. I think that this offense is going to look a lot more cohesive and he he's been one of these system proof quarter or wide receivers who I mean he was putting up numbers with PJ Walker. Shout out to the XFL. It's back this weekend. Uh but boy, I mean PJ Walker ain't an NFL quarterback. So I love DJ Moore here. Drake London goes. Uh, Justin Herbert goes. Um Ooh. Smith and Jigba uh, goes rookie. Uh, I took uh, Christian Kirk. I mean, what's not to like about Christian Kirk in this offense? True. I think they took a nice jump. Yeah. He's he's gonna be their number one. What are you saying, Andrew? Oh yeah, I was gonna say that I, I like Kirk a lot more uh, where he's going uh, than where um, Calvin Ridley is going. I mean, people yeah. are already pushing him up. The, the man hasn't played football in how long? <laughs> yeah, so I know. I mean, I, I would. The idea of Calvin Ridley is fun, but like Christian Kirk had a big role in that offense. I don't think they're, you know, I think it's bad news for like the third receiver in Jacksonville, not Christian Kirk. Yep. Keenan Allen goes DeAndre Swift finally drafted Mike Evans as we're looking to get to the end of the fifth here. So what's I, your I haven't drafted a running back. I was going to ask uh, how's your roster construction look? I have two running backs, two receivers and a tight end. I like it. I got a, I got Justin Fields, three stud receivers, and Travis Kelsey. And oh wow! I'm looking at all these running backs left, and I feel fine with any of these guys. You got Javante Williams, Aaron Jones, uh, Miles Sanders, it's so Pacheco, all Damian Pierce. It, it's once you get past these running backs that it really kind of starts to fall off the yeah. wagon. So you you definitely want to make sure you grab one of these guys before it all falls off. Who, yeah, I mean Rashad White, oh. AJ Dillon. So there, there goes Jameer Gibbs. Which in the sixth round, I, I mentioned this earlier with Javante Williams, much more appropriate price to pay for a elite rookie running back who's probably going to be drafted into a starting spot. And funny enough, he's drafted right next to Javante Williams. Tyler Lockett goes. Dallas Goddard goes. Shameless plug on the SGPN Fantasy Football YouTube page, but uh, Dave and Brad are releasing. Uh, position by position, a rookie, uh, you know, analysis, essentially they're like 10 minutes long each one. So if anybody wants some quick hitters on all the rookies, oh. go over there and check that out on SGPN fantasy it's, football. It's fabulous. It, it really is. Uh, Sean, I'm sure Sean's checking it out right now. I no, I've, I've, <laughs> I've been, I've been uh, catching the rookie stuff and I, it's I pretty sweet. So I see Kyle Pitts just went. How do oh, you guys Jesus. feel about that in the sixth round? Are we, you know, I think, <laughs> is that more appropriate this year than than last year? I guess, but I still want to see uh, uh, who's their quarterback. Like, <laughs> I, I, I I'm still skeptical. Uh, well, sounds we, like they like Ritter there. Yeah, no, I just I don't know. Lamar. It still seems like a pretty Ooh. run heavy Lamar. Lamar would be super interesting. Uh, Aaron Jones goes. Damian Pierce goes. Do I draft a running back or do I keep you, kicking it down? The, you don't have to. No, I don't, and I can draft. Um, I'm gonna draft uh, Jamison Williams, oh, massive upside, Q. massive upside guy. Obviously, didn't play much last year with the injury, but now you're playing in that offense in Detroit, which seems to just be a haven for fantasy stuff, and you know, still a chance Detroit upgrades a quarterback. So, a lot of reasons to like Jamison Williams. You know what? I'm gonna take Alvin Kamara here. Uh, I, obviously, he has that looming suspension going on. But with my build <laughs> already having two good running backs, I think it's safe to take him there and be a little different at the end of the year, having three stud running backs. Yeah. Oh man. So what do we think about Cam Akers? Where is he going? Are they gonna release him? Completely he, forgot about that. Is guy. he is he a comeback player of the year type guy next year? <laughs> I don't know about that, but he did finish with three 100 yard games, you know, to finish out the season. So he probably earned his stay there. But I mean, I, I don't know. It wasn't good 
for most of the last year. So I wouldn't be surprised if they yeah. do uh, fall. No, he, he had one of the more weirder seasons, I think. Uh, Kamara goes to Andrew and then uh, Brandon Ayuk, uh, Marquise Hollywood Brown off the board there. He's interesting without a. I'm going to take Cam Akers. It, it, same kind of logic as uh, Andrew. Over Desai. our man Dobbins. How dare yeah. you? Well, part of me wants to just take Dobbins and be done with the running back position and just and see see what it looks like to grab uh, four earlier. I know it's not probably it's probably not the, you know what? Let's do it. Yes. Good pick. All right, and I'm done I'm done taking running backs officially. George Pickens goes. I had him in my queue. Dak Prescott goes. I did not have him. Can I tell you what I'm in my queue? Real quick instant reaction. Deion all right, Deontay Johnson goes. So Andrew, yep. I was just about he, to say he's, he seems like he's being a little disrespected here. Oh, definitely. I mean, doesn't he feel like he could do what Miles Sanders did two years ago, where he didn't score any touchdowns? This last year he scored double digit touchdowns, right? Like Deontay Johnson, I think has the most targets in a single season without a touchdown in NFL history. So I mean, again, like I in, in the what are we in seventh round? Uh, yeah, that's just disrespect right there. It, Deontay Johnson goes. I take Miles Sanders first running back of oh, my. You. He won't be back with the Eagles though, will he? Um, I is there know. is there a chance? I heard he might take the veteran minimum to go join Saquon in New York. No, I mean the Eagles are smart enough not to pay running backs. Um, so it'll be interesting to see where he where he ends if, up. If that's the case, then where Kenny Gainwell is going in these is super valuable because yeah. he again shouldered a lot of the work. So. Yeah, you really, you really uh, snaked my uh, super secret uh, pick. <laughs> Kenny Gainwell pick, but oh, you're is right. Is that really a secret though? No, no, one, no I'm no just saying if <laughs> if Miles Sanders ends up going somewhere else, I do yep. think they'll draft a running back. You know, maybe in the second or third round. But I, I think Kenny Gainwell has a ton of value. Gabe Davis, he goes. Pacheco goes. Traylon Burks goes. His value simmered off a little bit there, huh? Who? Tra uh Gabe Davis. Remember he was going in like the third, fourth round last year. Uh, he yep. was just a classic hype guy. Too much. How Pacheco could, you... could be really interesting if the Chiefs don't do anything in their running back core move, moving on to next year. This is a pretty good value for him. I mean, we just saw what he did in the Super Bowl. If you guys watch that, yeah, I did watch the Super Bowl. <laughs> Caught a little bit of it. Well, not everyone at SGPN watched the Super Bowl. <laughs> no, Colby did not. <laughs> uh, what about Bryce Young? Where are we drafting Bryce no, Young? Will no, you have not, any not builds with Bryce Young? Not yet. Andrew. No. Uh, I mean, eventually, yeah. Maybe when I see where he goes and, and what the situation is, but right now, no. Eventually. I like that. James yeah. Conner, Tyler Algier, Brian Robinson all off the board. Oh, I Sutton was in, in my queue. I was I was looking long and hard at him as well. So Quinn Johnson, I, I Johnston, I just started looking at him because he's uh, obviously the Giants looking at receivers potentially. He he certainly looks like he could be the first receiver drafted. Like I don't know if the draft futures are out yet. I gotta poke around, but that that feel if he's a long shot, that's that would be a fun way to play that. Ryan, you looking to grab Kadarius Tony at all? Oh, I saw I see him coming here, and I'm I'm wondering. I mean, he's able to produce without getting snaps. Deshaun Watson how, goes. Jahan Dotson goes. How many snaps did he play in the Super Bowl? I just. Well, I'm going to ask both I, of you this. How many snaps? Twelve. Did he, okay, Andrew. Uh, seven. Five. Oh, Damn. Man. He played five fucking snaps. Rashad Bateman goes. How does that even work? Tua goes. To Tua over Danny Dimes. That's crazy to me. You take a a banged up quarterback over okay. a over Vanilla Vic. A running back, Daniel Jones. Kramer, what are the Giants going to do with Kenny G? Is he uh, is he, oh, is he still going to be there? Or no, absolutely not. No, no, he's he'll be he's he's gone as soon as I I guess I don't know if they're waiting to cut him for any particular reason, but he's not going to be on the team next year. Okay. Zay Flowers, love him. He he's a good receiver. He he the Zay Flowers could end up being a uh, guy who produces early doesn't doesn't do anything crazy or like lead the rookie class over the season but I feel like he produces immediately. I just took Rashad White um 50 catches last year and you know I don't know how much uh playoff Lenny has left in the tank so 
Darren Waller, Jared Cook, and likely, you know, a rookie quarterback or someone who's gonna need a check down. I think Rashad White's a oh, fun draft. This is just Kirk Cousins goes. I have to do it. What? I think I have to do it. Draft Kareem Hunt. No, Kadarius Tony. Go, oh, Kadarius Tony. <laughs> Kramer takes Kadarius Tony and Trey Lance. Let's go. Wow. Let's is this oh, your Jesus. Let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Trey Lance. Is Let's is this go. Dalton? Trey yeah. Lance over <laughs> Daniel Jones. I repeat. Kramer drafted Trey Lance over that. That I mean, Andrew, as someone uh, in oh, the NFC East, that tells you everything you need to know. Do you not understand about roster Ryan's, construction about Ryan's <laughs> confidence in the Giants? I got McCaffrey and Kittle, dude. Sean, you're, are you sure he was uh, in the bathroom before the show? Or was he talking to Dalton? <laughs> you're yeah. I, I was. I, we actually were hanging out with Dalton very recently, so it might have. It might have had something to do with Charbonnet that. goes. Who, by uh, the way, Downs goes. Shout out to rookies. Dalton for being on uh, Kyle Pitts to win the MVP. He already got. He already got. Uh, it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Just next level shit. The guys are real sharp. You know what, uh, Kramer? What? I'll take him for you. Yeah, no, it's fine. This is not the team that I build around Daniel Jones. I don't know are, why are, you're trying you to make a story. An, are you doing an impression of Brian Dayball there? Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there. Yeah, where's the Sean? You were going through the quarterback salaries earlier uh, on the on the <laughs> diehard Eagles hotline out there, and you st you saw like when they signed Dan Dan Jones for thirty seven million a year, he, it's going to be a fucking steal. Okay, I'm just saying like we're the, the whole narrative of trying <laughs> to trying to make fun of this deal that's coming. It's going to be an excellent deal for the Giants. I'm still waiting to see. I, I'm Gable for Dayball in the merch store, but yeah, I haven't seen it pop there, up yet. Oh, uh, you know, we don't. We got to be careful. There's a lot of people out there trying to take us down. Big corporate gambling would <laughs> would eat that up, spit well, us out. It lost in the shuffle. I drafted Khalil oh, Herbert lost again. In the shuffle. Uh, AJ pick. Dillon, if Dalton Schultz. If I didn't have four running backs, I was looking at him. Really? He's a hokey. What am I gonna do? He was he was a great running back. He, I mean, he is a guy. He's clearly just better at seeing the blocks or something. Because he, he like he just looks like a better guy, better running back than uh, David Montgomery. So much silence. Just Sean, Sean's got a baseball. If you're not watching YouTube.com/slash Sports Gambling Podcast, Sean has a, a baseball. Still a morning ride. Oh, is this part of the grieving period? Yep. Evan just, Ingram off the board, Jamal Williams, Juju Smith Schuster, that piece of shit. Wow, someone drafted Russell Wilson in the ninth round. That have is, we sacrificed that is optimism? Have we sacrificed a jersey by way of burning it? No. Do you want to give any opinions no. on on Mr. Uh, on on the either coordinator leaving? Uh, Shane Steichen, I think, was a pretty good play caller, and you know, Jonathan Cannon. Because I've heard the way that you've been speaking of Jonathan. Jonathan Cannon, Cannon I think his scheme's okay, but I, like really, his play calling was pretty pedestrian and just made no adjustments in the in the Super Bowl. So I'm I'm not going to be missing him. Hmm. I did see the video clip of him meeting Kyler, and it looked the the happiness looked forced. Is all I'm going to say. <laughs> that whole video was a little, little awkward. I got to be yeah. honest. Kareem Hunt, Brandon Cooks, David Njoku, Pat Fryermuth, Aaron Rodgers, Jacoby Myers, Fryermuth, Jared Goff goes. Oh, uh, is Keenan Allen a, a free agent? Dawson Knox or or cut worthy? Is there a chance they cut him? Keenan Allen? Yeah, I don't know. This is the kind of thing I'm sure Andrew knows. What's that? Is is Keenan Allen a guy that's not going to be on the Chargers? They said that they'd like to bring him back, but I, I mean, again, I I don't know. I I kind of think he wants to leave a little bit. Um, you know, he, he did tweet uh, a lot of happy shit to the Chiefs after they won, kind of looking like he was like asking for for a, an invite to the party. So I it wouldn't surprise hmm. me if he tries to leave. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, they they said that they'd like him back if if uh, if they would have him. Yeah, I, I'm intrigued by that because I obviously that that's a fun situation. I don't know. I mean, I've seen some stuff on Giants Twitter. People people are like, "Oh yeah, the Giants have to get Keenan Allen if if the Chargers release him." I I don't um makes me make me makes me very interested in Josh Josh Palmer. I drafted Darnell Mooney. Then we got Tyler Boyd, Zeke Elliott, Kyler Murray. Great, Kramer, you're on the pick. clock. Yeah. 
So I'm going to do another, some more offensive correlation here, offensive correlation. Uh, and he, you know, people's Jones, interesting piece started popping his head up a bit. Uh, so especially in best ball, I think he's definitely going to have some big games and you know what? Let's see. I got to look, I got to look for more correlation here. <sighs> you know what? I'm just going to take him. Give me Josh Palmer. Keenan Allen's not there. Suddenly Danny a nice Kramer. pick. Sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, was I? You were gonna grab him on the stack, weren't I, you? I sure was. He was a guy I moved up my. He's one of the guys I manually slid up the rankings board a little bit. Yep. Josh Palmer, David Montgomery goes. I, I just darrowed Andrew. I'm feeling a little bit bad about <laughs> it. Oh man, I'm Darrow, what a guy. Cole Komet. Oh damn it! I was sleep. I I thought That's I could wait up, to man. draft Cole Komet. I thought you were gonna stack. That would have been a nice little uh, bear stack. Yeah. That's Kramer, right. we think Wandale's gonna be all right. Like. First yeah. couple weeks of the season. Yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it. I mean, he's by all accounts, he's one of these physical beasts and recovers very quickly. We'll see. And he got hurt very easily. I mean, his size was, was the issue coming in yeah. and he got hurt pretty easily. So, but they certainly have an idea. I mean, you saw, I think it was that saints game. I mean, you saw, he had that eight, whatever it was that hundred yard, eight catch, maybe a hundred yard game. You saw what they, what it could look like. So at this point you're in the 11th round and you have Dan Jones. So yep. Almost an Do you guys have pick. any love for, for Michael Thomas sitting there? This is a big debate what? between Justin, myself, go? Emerson. What, what does he do? Uh, he just doesn't yeah, he, seem like a guy who wants to play football. What's the debate? That's a, Give me the case for Michael part. Thomas. I, I don't know. I don't like him either. Okay. Okay. I mean, yeah, I don't, he plays with zero heart and he can't get on the damn field. I don't want any part of that, but no. I know some of the SGP and uh, fancy football guys are debating me on that and saying that he's a good value here. But I mean, if you don't touch the field, you're not a value at all. Well, it's because the, the stat sheet guys will always fall back on what someone has done. And so they'll, they'll always think someone can do what they've done before or some percentage of that. And that's why like I, Calvin Ridley could get caught up in this, but guys who take time off for non-injury reason, it, it's not, it's really been a bad track record, very bad track record. Shout out to Le'Veon Bell. Hopefully he comes on the show one day, but uh, he, you know, he went from being like the best running back in the NFL to irrelevant in a matter I'm gonna of tell him you said that in a matter of years. I mean, <laughs> I listen, I'm, I, I saw Bruni's note, so I'm starting the jog thing. So I, I feel like I could, I drafted a uh, Bryce young in the 11th round, Elijah Ooh. Moore. Hi, it goes car. Kenny Gainwell. Um, Kayshawn Boutte goes Gino Smith, Al Lazard, Antonio Gibson, Greg Dolchich, Michael Thomas, Zay Jones off the board. Damn. Taysom Hill's a tight end, huh? That's lame. You know, where's <laughs> is he? What do, what do we think about him this year without now that sh is he, is he going to end up on the Denver team? A B if not, I mean, his ADP is 150th, which means we're coming up around that point. And there, think about, think, I mean, there are tight ends, like starting tight ends on the board, Sean. Taysom Hill sitting there. Should I draft new friend of the program, Adam Thielen? Oh. Oh, boo. Boo that man. You don't like Adam Thielen? No, wrong side of 30. Just you know, barely makes it as a top oh, 30 man. wide receiver he, in fantasy. I got to be no. honest, he looks pretty fit. Well, he looked pretty fit in person. He had a nice handshake. He could probably still get open. <laughs> uh, Matty Stafford goes. I don't know if I'm drafting Matt Stafford. No, absolutely. You want to talk not. about a guy who might not make the field? CJ Stroud. I mean, he is like a 15% chance to retire. I think these rookies are so boosted, so boosted. Well, because it's something exciting you haven't had. Chig. I just drafted Chig. Feels great. Chig. CJ Stroud goes. Whew. Hmm. This is the time where you're just making opinions. You're ma you're literally making a market. <laughs> or market makers. We're market makers. I mean, there there's who knows? Who knows? Some of this shit, no one knows. Elijah Mitchell goes. <laughs> Yeah, Sean, talk me into. Uh, I need you to put that that uh, injury on CMC for me there, so that'll pan out. 
Oh, that that's fucked I up. I haven't so you... decided whether or not he's going to get injured this season. What I you... am, okay. two, I am two and zero oh last two years. I'm predicting whether he, or not he's going to be injured. I mean, what you just did there. I was going to take him just to load up on more 49ers and now now I'm staring down the barrel of I don't. I have no fucking clue. <sighs> All right. I mean, part of me thinks that the move here is just keep acquiring. I'm going to take KJ Osborne to fade your Adam Thielen. After that talk, I never drafted oh, Adam Thielen. No. I just said Bruh. he's a friend of the program. Oh, well. Kenny Pickett goes, and then Kramer takes KJ Osborne for some reason. Let's see. I'm gonna let's take second year second year receivers are fun. Let's take Romeo Dobbs. That's a good pick if Rogers comes back. If not, do you like Jordan Love there? I mean, I, you know that I I have a feeling they don't like Jordan Love potentially, um, or maybe Jordan. You know. There's a version of this where Jordan Love just can't perform with Aaron Rodgers around. And if Aaron Rodgers is gone, there's a lot of pressure. Performance gone. anxiety. And maybe we get to see those skills that got him to be a first round pick in the NFL draft. I I actually the more that I think about it, if Aaron Rodgers leaves, I don't and if 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 they believe in Jordan Love and like clearly the like their roster moves show you they believe in Jordan Love. I don't mind being pro Jordan Love this year. Is that hot? Love for I mean, love. Love for Isaiah love. Isaiah Hodgins goes. All right. Oh, know. that's a great stack. Because he's on the Thank team. You. He's and he'll probably be the first free agent we hear about getting signed by the Giants. If I'm being honest. Taking Samaj P. Ryan. Oh, grown man beard. He's, he just seems like he keeps, you know, he hangs around. He's a part of the Bengals offense. He could, he could have a couple big games for you. Just a lovely beard. Oh man. Are right, so we are we under the assumption uh, that can you the, scroll down the board, Kramer? Oh my bad. Yep, you're good. Do we think Cordero Patterson? What's up with him, Kramer? You seem to have a. Oh, you mean a top, boy the hammer? He's a top ten football player in the NFL. <laughs> Alexander Madison, Rondale Moore. <laughs> so we're we're at we're at pick one fifty two here. Cordero Patterson is still available. Well, that's a steal. It's an absolute steal at this point. So what's that? What are we thinking for optimal roster construction? So remember, this one's twenty rounds, not eighteen. So what is oh, that? Yeah. Three six eight three is twenty. So that's if you want to be even. I've been doing two six nine three somewhere in there. Um, I do think you. I'd rather have three tight ends than three quarterbacks personally, unless you wait way long and are grabbing you know the likes of C.J. Stroud, Aaron Rodgers, you know Brock Purdy, any of those guys, whoever you want. Um, now, I mean, you know, for you, it's interesting since you took Trey Lance, you know, you might want to get the guy who might actually play and that's Brock Purdy. So I don't know oh. if you have, how you want to handle that one. But, wow. Wow. Uh, no, I'm just, oh, I, I do think Trey Lance plays, but again, don't you think, yeah, I think Trey Lance plays. Don't you think, I mean, I, I no. at this point, I, I don't mind taking a stab, but don't you think if you're, I, I don't know how Brock Purdy comes back that quickly, but that, oh, they're a, talking about him not even getting surgery, right? I don't. I just don't know. Ryan if I, hates when you. I just go against his made-up news. That I just broken. don't know if you need. You need. I don't know if you need a. Yeah. I. I'm. I, Brock Purdy's not the favorite to start the first game. Odell Beckham drafted, and I bought. I brought the boat trip music back. Maybe. Wow, what do you mean? Maybe we'll actually see the field. They, uh, Michael Gallup goes. Gerald Everett goes. Chase Claypool goes. Bruni taking Chase Claypool. He's a. The Bears guy, maybe he's got some insight. I I I stayed away from him, even though I have Justin Fields. Perfect uh, reminder, everyone. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. Head over there, get the hundred percent deposit bonus. Hundred hundred dollar match up to one hundred dollars. You could do ten of these for free. Ten free shots to win a million dollars. You got to be kidding me. Underdogfantasy.com promo code SGPN. Renfro goes. I got a diabolical plan going right here. Do you, how many quarterbacks do you guys have? I only have two. Uh, I have only. Two. I have one. Trey <laughs> Lance. <laughs> so we're gonna have to catch up on another quarterback, maybe. What do you think? You should. Uh, j I'm gonna throw something out for you, Andrew. You should draft Hardman on this uh, team. So when he joins the oh, team. Oh yeah, and and why is that? 
when he joins the Giants, it's another stat. Oh Jesus! Jones, yeah. uh, another man that can't stay healthy and on the field. Oh, yep. he fits in. Fits in with Giants Perfect. culture beautifully. Yeah. Take over the uh, <laughs> Kenny Galladay role. Uh, Jarek McKinnon, Devin Singletary, Raheem Mostert, all off the board. Hmm. We're, we've gotten to the uh, the depths of the ocean when it comes to fantasy. Yep. We're talking about just bullshit. It's a good way to keep people tuned in. Well, I mean, there's still some rookies we can draft. Sky right? Moore goes. God, fuck. Alec Pierce goes. I'm doing it. I'm rolling the dice on Cordero Patterson. He still had eight touchdowns last year. And he's a top ten NFL player. Yeah. It's important. All right. I think I can get the rest of the guys. I How many get. tight ends do you guys have? Two. One. Yeah, one. All right. Hmm, Zach Ertz. <laughs> Did he officially That's retire? A sound. Hmm, <laughs> Zach Ertz. All right, I know what I'm doing. Adam Thielen is still sitting there. I just drafted Nico Collins over Adam Thielen. That's how much I dislike Adam Thielen. Nico Collins was in my queue. Oh, like, someone drafted Zach Ertz. But you also like Nico Collins. I do, yes. All right. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm going to take another quarterback and I'm going to stack him immediately. Oh, the speedster. Yeah. I like that. Mac Jones. Now that he's got an offensive coordinator, Sean, Bill <laughs> O'Brien, uh, oh man, complete buffoon, oh, Jesus. Now but that... massive upgrade over Patricia. Come on. That's all right. He'll probably just stay for a few years and leave like he what? did at Penn state. So that's fine. Mac Jones, Traquan Thornton, McCorkle himself. <laughs> I mean, not and, bad for a backup quarterback. Andrew, what, what's this guy doing over here? He's embarrassing <laughs> the brand. He must not have had his run in today yet for the best ball endurance athlete. Uh, what do you mean? What, what's wrong? You don't like Mac Jones now? You used to love Mac Jones. I, no, I thought he was a good rookie of the year candidate. He's not a fantasy guy. Oh, yeah, but I got Trey Lance. I don't, I just need him for a week or two. Hayden Hurst goes. He was in my queue. Mm. Uh, have we gotten any updates on Jameis? Will he be freed? Oh, that is a great question. What the hell has happened to that guy? I'm rolling the dice here. Uh, John Mechie looks like he's going to be ready for the offseason program. Uh, yep. Nice little uh, deep stack with Bryce oh, Young. Well done, Sean. Thank you. And I was going to take Nico Collins for a double stack, but Andrew oh, snaked him. Dick move. <laughs> Adam Thielen finally goes. Shout out to Adam. Hooked on a Thielen. He, he did predict a tie in the Super Bowl. Almost got it. <laughs> or overtime. <laughs> it's a great prediction. All right. So let's see here. I have two quarterbacks, four running backs, eight receivers, one tight end. Hmm. Feels nice. Who's the quarterback in Carolina? Oh man. Mm. Derek Carr. You might be right there. He's not available. No, Will Levis. Ryan, you're yeah, you're, I, I you're was about super to say Will Levis, yeah. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I Jimmy I, G? I'll be strongly wrong. I mean, I like Jimmy G going to Tennessee or something, going somewhere and starting. Bigsby goes, Curtis Samuel goes. Evans goes rookie. There's a couple guys coming up that are interesting that I think are uh, below where they will end up with their ADP right now. Uh, I don't want to throw them out there, but there's definitely some interesting guys in this range right now. Deonta Foreman off the board. DJ Chark goes. Huh. Just loading up my queue over here. Some rookies. What do you got in there, Ryan? I'm not going to talk about it. They're really good picks. <laughs> oh well, there goes one that I, I liked. Uh, I think Isaiah McKenzie should not be going this late for the offense that he's in. Yeah. What do we think about Rashad Penny? Do they still like? Oh, him, he think? just got drafted. <laughs> Where do you I, think uh, I mean, Penny ends up, or what's what's happening with him? Is he going to stay? You think? I, I thought I thought there was stuff he was going to leave, but I mean. We I'll happily be high on Rashad Penny again, Sean. He could go to Carolina and be the starter. 
Yeah, I mean, he's just you know, obviously he's just had so many injuries, but um, mm -hmm. assuming he's you know comes back decent shape. Well, how how remember, are you? Remember Allen Robinson? It's like, oh, Rams reload and look out. That guy sucks, huh? <laughs> what happened? He just quit. It's it, it's the guys. You got to be able to identify quit. Yep. Got to be able to identify quit. I e Michael Thomas. Yeah, you. Uh, it, Trey it, McBride goes sharp pick by someone. Damn. Oh, stop. Mike Gesicki goes nothing sharp about that. Khalil Shakir goes. Ooh, surprise! No one's drafted my boy Isaiah Likely. Mm. That's a fun pick. What do you mean, your boy? Um, I was all over. I mean, that listen this. Listen this year. tight end room: Travis Kelsey, Chigazimo Conquo, and oh, Isaiah well Likely. Done. That's a hell of a Daniel hell of Bellinger. Is he the tight end? Yes. Moving forward, yeah. Travis okay. Kelsey was wet over him. It's a great pick. Bellinger goes. McBride goes. Dun dun dun. I believe uh, Gerald Everett. I know he's not available right now, but I do, I, I do want to talk about him real quick. I'm pretty sure he's a, a candidate to be cut as well. So, and any landing spots you'd like to see him go for fantasy purposes? I, he's fun, I guess. I I don't know. I mean, I I feel like he was he was a guy that's oh I'm on the clock. Fuck. He was a guy that's underperformed. All right. God damn it. You're gonna make me take. I'm taking a fifth running back. Gus Edwards. Welcome to the team. You know I love nice. Gus. Pair him <laughs> up with J.K. Dobbins. I'm back. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I almost, I almost feel like I just need to take a rookie. Who's the guy? Let's see. Should we go rice? I think we take the SMU dude. That's what Colby, I think would tell me to do. Rashi is it? Uh, let's see. Rashi rice, Rash Rashi rice. I think it's Rashi <laughs> Rashi. <laughs> Yeah, that that I've Rashi's a, a funner way to say it, I think. But uh, that is all right. That nine receivers now. I'm a little maybe overweight on the receivers, but I don't think that's all right. I guess we Alan extra Robinson round. goes. Yeah, we got actually two rounds. So do we? Do you take a third quarterback? I am. And my third I mean, I guess it depends. Like I'm not. I'm not going to with Herbert and Daniel Jones, but uh. Mm, uh, you do yep. have two studs. I'm gonna take Desmond Ritter. <laughs> uh, I think he's Graham, interesting. You need to scroll down on the board again. Oh, all right. Desmond Ritter is interesting this late, just from a uh, obviously rushing perspective, and maybe you can get the passing game going. Ryan Richie James is he gonna be on the team? Uh, great question. I wouldn't draft him. I mean, I, they like, but yeah, I mean that hopefully he's, he'll be on the team, but hopefully they don't need him a ton. I think I'm just going all receivers from here on out. I still, uh, Jawan Johnson goes van Jefferson. Matt Collins is available. Devin Duvernay. Interesting name. Devonte Parker. Ooh, Russell Gage. What do you think about him? Dog. I mean, he's probably going to be one of the guys that sticks around. I would imagine. Yeah. But again, where's the ball coming from? It's also true. You bring up a lot of good. Points. I mean, you know, we're in the 17th round. I'm that is very true. Fishing for angles here. Con burglar checking in. Who was one, one Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, that was me. I I picked Christian McCaffrey. Seemed like the right thing to do. Jimmy G goes. Noah Fant goes. Michael Carter goes. Kramer, are you bummed you didn't get the 49ers starting quarterback? Who's that? Jimmy G. No, he's gonna be on the Titans. He's not gonna be on the team anymore. So then you should have stacked him with Chig. I don't have Chig. You're saying a lot of crazy shit over there, Sean. I know I'm a <laughs> maniac. Uh, I am carefully constructing a roster that's capable of winning whatever the top prize in this fucking contest is. All right, understood. <laughs> okay, boss. That's two hundred thousand dollars. Two two hundred k in my fucking pocket. Matt Just Collins two. goes. Deuce Vaughn. Will Levis. Trey Michael Le Michael Carter in the 18th round. Was that to Bruni? 
Mm, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Bruce you, loves <laughs> Michael Carter. You guys been doing drafts already, huh? I mean, yep. the, you could you could talk yourself into Michael Carter pretty easily, especially you know. Jets are going to need a running back. Brees Hall's not a hundred percent. Very right. easy case. Darius Slayton available, Ryan. Yeah. Corey Davis. Darius Dar- Duvernay. Uh, Darius Slayton is might be on another team. Give me Olamide Zacchaeus. That's Forty your, catches. That's your guy, huh? I'm stacking him with uh, Desmond Ritter. Ron, I don't know if you know, stacking is very important in this. <clears throat> you know, I was <laughs> listening earlier to Andrew talk about that. It does seem to make a lot of sense. Pierre Strong off the board. Should I should I queue up Josh Johnson? Love Pierre Strong. Get him on. Oh yeah. Oh man, I was looking at him. He was in my queue, stacked with Mac Jones. Look, sorry, McCorkle. I always forget about that. All Ricky right, James so, is a nice, nice pick here. I mean, he's late. I, he has a role. I just don't think he's their desired starter to be in that role. Um, mm-hmm. All right, so pick one for me. We're gonna stack Hunter Henry with McCorkle. Need another tight end. Uh, big Hunter Henry fan, and he's his con. He's not going anywhere. So this will be probably his last year on the team. And then let's let's do another stack with Trey Lance, Mr. Jawan Jennings, who I think one more year of contract. All right, wow. This uh, I never would have thought I would have my my Trey Lance team box checked by the first draft <laughs> of best ball season. Tyler Conklin off the board. I mean. Rip, just Velas electric. Jones falls right into my lap. Wow. You think he's going to have a nice step up this year? I don't know. I, you know, Bruni's in the chat would love to get his take. I, yeah, his, his usage started picking up towards the end of the season. He's a stack with uh, Justin field. So I think there's a lot of reasons to like him. Yeah. <laughs> Bernie says no. LOL. <laughs> oh, and I take that back. Wow, how jo- dare you? Juwan <laughs> Johnson is a free agent, so horrible pick by me. Hopefully he ends up somewhere nice. What should I make my last pick, Sean? Um uh, Chuba Hubbard just went. You do like Jared Chuba. off the board. You and Matt Rule. Rule's wife loved Chuba Hubbard. By the way, we saw Latavius Murray out in the uh, for media. Oh week. yeah, massive that's, dude. That's a big fucking dude. That is <laughs> very a big scared of Latavius Murray. Fucking dude. Not a guy I want to fuck with. There's no way you would ever want to run into that guy square up. <laughs> He's so much bigger than you could ever imagine a running back being. He's uh, very impressed with his size. Anthony Richardson, oh. AR fifteen. I mean, he he's a runner. It makes sense. Jordan right? Love goes. If he gets on the field, he could he could dazzle us with his legs. All right. Uh, any other? You got one more pick, Sean? Mm-hmm. Who's your Mister Irrelevant? Amari Rogers, to pair with uh, my Bryce Young, Texans. Oh, interesting. That's fun. Yeah. I mean, again, he's got. He's got a. Uh, it's fun. Kind of finished the, the season decent, so. I have a fun pick too. I mean, Amari Rogers, what going into his yeah third year. Was on Green Bay briefly. What round was he drafted? I th- feel like he was drafted decently high. Oh boy. Sean, what's the plan with Quez in the off season here? Is he sticking with the team or I don't know. Fans are out on Quez. Really? <laughs> Rest in peace. We like that guy. I I mean, I like his speed. He's just, you know, the drop in the Super Bowl not oh, helping wow. his case. Wow. Got out muscled for a bunch of balls. Got to zoom out, Sean. It's too close. It's too close. No, I mean, I I, I I was high on Quez Watkins. I liked his speed, but he kind of had a worse year this year than he did the year before. 
He didn't step forward. Again. No, and I think he stepped backwards. Um, wow. So okay. we'll see. He was a lot of draft capital too. Well, this one's uh, we got six picks left. Very, very excited to have the first draft done. Feel like I got to do a little, little more, more practice. Melvin Gordon goes. He's on the Chiefs. He won a Super Bowl. Him and Kadarius Tony won Super Bowls this year. And Clyde edwards alaire Congrats. Wow. Got activated for the game. They just wanted to get him a ring. That was just to give him a bonus. Class act by the Chiefs. Terrace Marshall goes, and I'm doing it. I'm taking Amari Rogers. All right. All right. Kramer, rattle off your well, I'll rattle off mine. I'm done drafting. Justin Fields, Bryce Young, Desmond Ritter. And then for running backs, you got Miles Sanders, Rashad White, Khalil Herbert, Samaj P. Ryan, Cordero Patterson. For receivers, we got Jalen Waddle, Christian Watson, Christian Kirk, Jamison Williams, Darnell Mooney, John Mechie, Alime Day, Zacchaeus, Vilas Jones, Amari Rogers. Tight ends, we got Travis Kelsey, Chig, and Isaiah Likely. Uh well, uh Andrew, why don't you go first? I'll and then I'll uh, I'm I'm on the clock right now. Oh wow! All right, go ahead. Andrew. All right, at quarterback, I got Justin Herbert and Mr. Jones. Running back, Derrick Henry, Ramondre Stevenson, Alvin Kamara, Elijah Mitchell, Jeff Wilson, Pierre Strong. Wide receivers: Cooper Cup, Mike Williams, Deontay Johnson, Tyler Boyd, Wandale Robinson, Isaiah Hodgins, Nico Collins, Tim Patrick, and Marvin Mims. Tight end: Darren Waller. Daniel Bellinger, Jelani Woods. All right. Took Brock Purdy with the last pick. I was going to take David Bell and throw it in with the rest of the Browns that I have, but snaked one pick before me. I have Trey Lance, Brock Purdy, Mac Jones, Christian McCaffrey, Nick Chubb, Cam Akers, Dobbins, Gus Edwards, T. Higgins, DJ Moore, Kadarius Tony, Donovan Peoples Jones, Josh Palmer, KJ Osborne, Romeo Dubs, Tyquan Thornton, Rasheed Rice, and Jawan Jennings to go with George Kittle and Hunter Henry. Hyper fragile in the <laughs> tight end position. Hyper fragile. All right. Hey, that was a lot of fun. Make sure you check out Andrew, all the uh, awesome stuff him and the rest of the SGPN fantasy football team are doing. The SGPN fantasy football podcast. Make sure you get that. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. If you want to check out the draft board, head over there. Underdogfantasy.com. Promo code S. G P N. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Stacking the Money Green, and he is Ryan. Ciao. Kramer, let it ride. <laughs>